So the significance of these simple scan lines will become evident as we go further into etching and engraving, which is what we're going to do next. So this time we're going to do some graphic work, so we're not going to save that. We'll start off a new job, come out a little bit, and we're going to come to the text tool, just come onto the screen and there somewhere, press there, and we get this box up. Now I like using Times Roman, Times Roman the standard one. Um, I think probably 10 millimeters high and delete. So we're going to uh, put caps on. Thunder laser. We'll do this in two parts. So we're going to click OK. Um, I'll just stretch that out a bit, I think. Um, that sort of looks OK, I think. Deselect that. Okay, so we're going to go back into the text tool, come underneath here somewhere, remove that, and say, Nova 35, and okay that. I'm going to stretch that out a little bit, uh, a little bit more than what the that's about the middle, I think, just roughly, just to get a bit of that's okay. So actually, we're going to put all this on a black layer. There we go. So we're going to highlight that and then we're going to bring the cursor down here. So I'm going to press Control C, Control V to make a copy. And I think right there where it is. Okay. So now we've got our graphics done, um, we can go up to our black layer now, double left click, which brings this dialog box up. Uh, is output yes? Uh, we're going to slow this up a little bit. We're going to go to 100. It's a scan in this case, and we want low blowing, and we want now. I know to do this sort of job, my previous uh, 100 watt la laser would need between 30 and 35% output, but judging by what I've seen with this laser, I'm going to set this to 25 and I think that would be pretty perfect, 25%. Now, uh, this is a very important one, this, now it says interval. Uh, in millimeters here. Now the interval is the step over of scan line. So when the the lather scans from one area to another, from left to right, it will progress further into the cut 0 0.1 of a millimeter. Now that's about right. So I can tell you that the beam diameter then um, running at 100 millimeters per second on a two inch lens 
is about uh, point between 0.15 and 0.2. So this means we're going to get sort of one and a half to two uh, scan over then the same area, which will result in a very good, shall we say, removal of material without any, shall we say, um, uh, cogging effect on the side of the letters. When the lasers run, uh, you'll be able to see yourself, the letters should be very nice and clean and there shouldn't be any cogging on the sides of them. Um, so that is why I'm setting this at uh, 0 0.1 of a millimeter interval or scan line. Um, now to convert that to inches, it's uh, let me just do a quick calculation here. I do this on camera. <laughs> Uh, 25.4 millimeters to an inch and this is uh, 0 0.1 so it's times 10 uh, times 10 so it's um, it would be equivalent to 254 uh, scan lines per inch or should we say dots per inch yeah, scan lines per inch, so that's uh, that's about right. Um, so we're going to OK that. Ah, and you see now this has changed to a black area. That means the, the laser is going to actually um, remove this material in the black area uh, and leave the letters proud. And of course here it's going to be the reverse. The laser is going to etch out each individual letter there. So we're going to have like a positive and negative effect. This is going to be like a two and a half D. You could call it 3D, but uh, I would prefer to call this a two and a half D effect. And um, this is a normal engraved letter effect. So uh, we're going to take this over to the laser now. And um, I think that'll come out for pretty good, actually. Okay, so I'm going to engrave that letter in into this pretty ordinary, nice piece of um, five ply, about ten millimeters thick, and uh, it's just a little bit of grain pattern in it. So we're just going to put it between the IR focusing sensors, drive the table down. and press menu and enter which is the command for focus so we'll draw this back here to the middle a little bit and we're just going to bring the head over just there that looks nice, so I'm going to press origin and frame. Okay, let's shut the lid. Okay, I just brought you in at a slightly different angle there through the glass of the, uh, the door. So I'll do a frame. Uh, I'll do a frame again because I wasn't looking down the camera lens. Uh, it's pretty well in the middle of the frame, I think. Okay, so uh, I'm going to turn the extraction unit on and um, let's see what the Thunder Laser makes of this.
just going to go and clean this up a little bit and we'll have a look at the end result. Okay, so this re result is still a little damp because I just gave it a bit of a tub in. But beautiful. So this is what is regarded, it's, it's not strictly 3D engraving, this is 2.5D engraving. Um, and it's, it's a perfect job. Just imagine what you can actually, you know, sort of do with this, you can, the symbols you could make, you know. signboards for things like doctor's surgeries and you know to go on the door or above the door you know it's endless the types of sign making that you could actually make and very quickly you know I mean this took me if I wasn't talking about it to the camera I could do the I could put this together in RD Works in less than two minutes, you know, and um, cutting time, I'll bring you down and show you. So you can see the, you can see the time here, 4 minutes 29 seconds. And it would actually do it faster than that, raising the power and raising the speed. So that is a very simple demonstration of, so that is how to put a simple text graphic in RD works together and how to burn it down with the Thunder Laser Nova 35. And of course the Thunder Laser Nova 25 will do exactly the same job. So if you're looking for more of a hobby machine uh, with, and you don't require such a large footprint as the Nova 35, the Nova 25 may suit you a little better. Of course Thunder Laser make much bigger machines than the 35 as well. So I hope you've liked the video today and please uh, like and subscribe and if you really like what I'm doing you may consider becoming a patron to my channel. So thank you for watching and it's bye for now.